Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's me coming back at you again with another vid. Well, well, as expected, Tyson Fury pulls out of the purse bid uh, with the uh, rematch that's supposed to be uh, immediate with uh, Deontay Wilder. So uh, this was tweeted out by the WBC president, uh, Mauricio Suleiman, that Tyson Fury has opted um, to... Um, Opted to uh, pull out of the purse bid. He will not be rematching Deontay Wilder anytime soon. He's electing to fight someone else, which is an interim fight in between. Now, does this mean that Deontay Wilder and the Tyson Fury fight may not uh, rematch may not happen? No, it does not mean it may not happen. Um, it can happen, but down the road. But a lot of people who were very very enthusiastic about the first fight, even though the uh, the outcome was deemed a bit controversial. Because uh, given the fact that uh, most observers believe that Tyson Fury won the fight, but um, the greatest fear about this situation is that uh, this is all stems from the fact that Fury signed a multi-year deal worth eight, 80 million pounds, which is uh, a conversion of 104 million U.S. dollars. So, a lot of people are going to look at this as saying, you know. With Fury signed on to ESPN, Joshua is signed on to the zone, and Wilder, who pretty much fights on the Showtime, even though he has a sign, hasn't assigned an exclusive deal, but he's very loyal to that network, whatnot. Um, he has a very, very good, uh, close relationship with Steven Espinoza, who's the uh, head of uh, Showtime CBS Sports. But the fact is, is that, um, or actually not CBS Sports, but Showtime Sports, I'm sorry. So it's the Showtime division. But, um, Needless to say, though, as a one um, UK uploader had um, mentioned um, in one of his prior upload videos, that this situation with the three top heavyweights, with Tyson Fury, the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, and you have Anthony Joshua, who's a unified IBF, WBA, and WBO um, heavyweight champion of the world. Okay, and please, people, stop mentioning the IBL. That's not the recognized belt, so please stop it. <laughs> but needless to say, though, um, the uploader did mention that this could potentially lead to another cold war between the heavyweights. And I pray that's not the case. And the reason why I say that is because if that's if it is a if this is a cold war and I'm not ruling that out, if this is going to be a create another cold war, be, a cold war between the networks, given the fact that you have three top heavyweights fighting on separate networks, one of them can lose to a, a, a less significant fighter in a way, you know? Now, does that mean if it, if they one of them lose a fight, does that mean that either of them cannot fight each other? No, that does not mean the case because heavyweight, great heavyweight fights can happen despite uh, undefeated heavyweights lose their uh, momentum or fighters who have gone on consecutive um, uh, succession of um, of a winning streak and then they lose a fight. Yeah, it may kill the momentum. That doesn't mean that big fights cannot be made. But uh, needless to say, though, you know how um, boxing fans are these days. They want to see uh, fights big fights happen now rather than later which I do tend to agree on so does this mean this is a duck on Tyson Fury's part <laughs> as much as I like Tyson Fury I have to admit yeah it is a duck there's no there's no other way of describing it you pull out a purse bid um, you know no intentions they meet um, of rematch Deontay Wilder anytime soon I mean let's be let's be truthful here um, Ben Davidson who by the way who I respect as uh, Tyson Fury's young trainer he's even mentioned he's on record saying that he didn't he he doesn't want Tyson Fury to immediately uh, re, to uh, go through an immediate rematch of Deontay Wilder so where does Tyson Fury go from here? I don't know. There is rumor mill that Joseph Parker could be the potential opponent, given the fact that Parker pulled the Deontay Wilder situation with Derek Chisora. You respond to us within 24 hours, or we're not going to um, uh, agree to a fight. So he pulled out of the fight with Chisora. Um, and then you have Deontay Wilder, who more likely is going to fight Dominic Brazil, because Dominic Brazil has now uh, pretty much pulled out of his um, mandated fight with um, with uh, Dillian White. So... I um, mean, he is the WBA, WBC mandatory, so he didn't really necessarily have to go through that fight, you know, given the fact that now that Wilder doesn't have an opponent. So we're more likely going to see Dom, Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil. Expect an announcement on that one, but hey, hopefully it's Dillian White who gets a shot before Dominic Brazil. I'd rather see that fight, but anyhow, um, before Dominic Brazil, I should say. So let me know what you guys thought about this. Was this a duck on Tyson Fury's part? I think it's a common sense question. We should all agree it is, but I know some people may uh, beg to differ on that. But uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts about this. I am out. Peace.